Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacy with Blondia Mexico. Right now we are loading up the car with some coolers and we are heading from Mazatlan, Mexico to Culiacan, Mexico. If you are from Mazatlan, you know where we're heading. That's right, we're heading to Costco. So I'm gonna take you on the journey with this. So come on, let's go. All right, guys, here we go. We're starting our road trip to Culiacan, Mexico, where we're going to visit Costco. It's gonna be approximately two and a half hours. And during this video, I'm gonna show you how many tolls there is, how much those tolls cost, and maybe some of my favorite things that I like to pick up while I'm at Costco. So come on, let's go. That took us about two hours and 15 minutes to get here to Culiacan. We stopped at Home Depot real quick to see if they have a few things that we've been looking for at our Home Depot that we are unable to find. And then we will be heading over to Costco. So come on. Okay, here we are. We're finally at Costco. And like I said, it took us about two hours and 15 minutes to get to Culiacan. And now we're finally at Costco. It was two tolls. As you saw in the video, the first toll, they did not charge us, and almost a half a tank of gas so far that we have used. We are inside Costco and ready to do some damage. We're ready to throw some stuff in the cart and we're excited. We love this place and we miss it, so we don't get to come here enough. So I'm going to show you a few of the things that I never leave here without and in the comments tell me things that I should be looking at and checking out next time I'm there. What are some of the things that you like to get? So this chicken right here, the Costco chicken, is something I got back in the States and I continue to get here. I like that it's wrapped into three different sections so I can cut off what I need. Yes, please. Kirkland Vodka, $1.99. I will be taking one of these. I have not had fresh sweet corn since I've moved to Mazatlan. So I'm excited for this. Tillamook cheese. It's the Blanco Extra Sharp Cheese. Delicious. It looks like it is $2.29. This is a must for me when I come here. Tillamook's my favorite cheese. Another one of my favorites that I like to grab when I'm here. I like easy snacks. Another thing that I used to buy back home, these creme brulees are delicious. $2.49 for 12 little creme brulees. I think we overdid it guys and look at these lines 
Wednesday night, 5 p.m. Not the time to come to Costco. All right, guys, we just spent two and a half hours in Costco and 15,000 pesos later. So we got two carts here. And now we're gonna head home and try to make it back before it's dark. And now the game of Tetris begins as we try to get two cartloads of Costco goodies into our car. Eey. We'll see how good we are at this. Funny story, we don't pump gas in Mazatlan. Somebody pumps it for us. So I haven't pumped gas in quite a long time. Maybe when I go back to the States and I have to fill up the gas on the rental car, that's like once a year. So it's kind of a big deal. We don't have to do it. And it was kind of embarrassing because I couldn't figure out how to use the machine. It asked you different questions on how much gas you want, how many liters, how much you want to spend. And it was all confusing to me. All right, guys, we are finally getting on the road. It is a little bit after six o'clock. We are starting off later than I would have liked to. Hopefully we're not driving too much in the dark because they say we really shouldn't be driving on the freeways here at night. So fingers crossed. Guys, this is why we do not like to travel at night in Mexico is because the roads are pretty rough. You can hit a pothole pretty bad and do some damage. And then construction like this in the middle of the night at dark time, you, you can't see anything. So we try to keep most of our driving during the daylight time. And it's just safer all around. Hey guys, this is a bit of a rough video, but I wanted to put it in here because I was so excited to see it because this is one of my favorite stores back in the States. Why do we have this here? Do we have a distribution center here? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Okay, so this is our first toll on the way back into Mazatlan. There's going to be two tolls total, and this one is 157 pesos for automobiles. Last toll, guys. 135 pesos. Look at those windows. How many bugs we hit. All right, guys, once again, we were not charged to toll at that last one. The 137 peso one was that didn't charge us again. All right, guys, it is the next morning. We got in kind of late last night. It was after eight o'clock. So we definitely did have to do, do a little bit of driving in the dark. We did hit a pothole that got me a little bit nervous. So that would be the last time we do that. We will try to get out of Costco earlier next time, but we just got caught up in the moment being there. We also, of course, like I showed you in the video, we hit Home Depot, then we hit the Forums Mall, and then we hit up Costco. But I just wanted to give you a little breakdown of what things cost for us. We did take almost one full tank of gas, which was about, which was about like 700 pesos, give or take. And then we had the four tolls, which two didn't take money. So that was about 314 pesos. And it took about two hours and 15 minutes each way. So it was a long day, worth it. Got a lot of goodies. So I hope you enjoyed uh, spending the day at Costco and Culiacan with me as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. Bye.